Oh, oh wow. Sorry, sorry. Oh my God. I accidentally tripped on a don't worry, I'm absolutely fine. I'm okay. I'm all good. <laughs> so hilarious. Welcome to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and where you can get your weekly dose of VR educational entertainment and not your falling VR educational entertainment. Anyway, uh, very nice to meet you if it's your first time here to the platform and a big welcome back, of course, to all our regular subscribers. It's always awesome to have you here with us again today. And thanks again also for going to check out our live show last Saturday, where we gave out two keys to grapple tournament. We will be changing the time to our live show because it is a little bit too late for me here in Singapore. So do go to the community tab and vote on the best time that would suit you so I can change the time to that specific time. But today, no, my hand's okay. Today we're talking about more specifically how you can actually fix the binding bug with your HP Reverb G2 or also potentially with any other VR headset. Let us know if you have the exact same thing with your Quest when you hook it up to the link or using virtual desktop or with your HTC or your Valve. Just let us know in the comment below, but here's the solution. So as I just mentioned, there is sometimes a little bug with the binding, basically when you go inside of an app. So today we're gonna to be using the Walking Dead Satan Sinners as an example. So when you click on the button on the controller to bring up the Steam control panel and you choose controller binding, now the first time round, if you choose uh, you know, on custom, you'll have another pop-up that will come up and that way you can do all the editing of the bindings. Do go and check out the previous video, which I did all about how to find all this kind of stuff in the link description below the like button. But then once you've actually clicked activate, now there is a bug at the moment where if you go back into the same menu and you click on custom, it just won't open up. So what do you do? Well, all you have to do, it's really easy. I know it doesn't sound that easy because believe me, it also took me some time to find the answer. Um, basically, all you have to do is close the actual app. So click on the icon and then close exit. And then when you see exit, what's gonna happen is another panel will open up with all the various different uh, options within the Steam panel. So what you need to choose is show old binding. And that's where you can basically make all your changes. Now, the thing is, if you activate a new binding from there, again, it's gonna be very hard to activate and change the binding when you just click on change bindings. You have to go through the same process. I'm not quite sure why. I've noticed it happened uh, since the update 16.1 um, for me, but it was completely fine when it was Steam VR version update uh, 1.15. And by the way, do go and check out the other video which we just released a few days ago about all the new changes of the update of the recent Steam VR update. So go and check that out so you know what the changes are there. And also whether you've had any issues, do leave a comment in the comments below. So guys, I, I hope this video helped you because I know there's a lot of us who are trying to struggle and how do you change? Ah, oh, it was driving us crazy. And don't worry, I'm absolutely fine. I'll see you in the next video.